So here is a question which says, if x is equals to 3 minus root 13 divided by 2, find the value of x squared plus 1 by x squared. Now in such type of questions, if we try to go with the straightforward approach, which is by directly using this formula, which is x squared plus 1 by x squared, and if we approach it like this, 3 minus root 13 by 2, that is x squared plus 2 divided by 3 minus root 13 squared. This is going to take us a lot of time. So we can use this approach that I'm going to show you. So what should we do at first is we'll use this formula a plus b whole squared x plus 1 by x whole squared will give us x squared which is a squared plus 2a b plus b squared. Now this implies x plus 1 by x whole squared is equals to x squared and we can cancel this one out. x1 is a x, x1 is a x. This will give us 2 and 1 squared is 1, x squared is x squared. Whole squared uh, we will subtract 2 from both the sides. So this will be minus 2 and here we will be left with x squared plus 1 by x squared. Okay, so we are supposed to find x squared plus 1 by x squared and that's what we have got here. x squared plus 1 by x squared. Now I will rewrite it like this. x squared plus 1 by x squared is equals to x plus 1 by x whole squared minus 2. Now if we approach it, it, the calculations will be easier. So the value of x is what? 3 minus root 13 divided by 2. 3 minus root 13 divided by 2 plus 1 over x means we will just reciprocal it. 2 divided by 3 minus root 13 whole squared minus 2. Now we will take the LCM for 2 and 3 minus root 13. Okay, the best way to find the LCM for 2 and 3 minus root 13 is straight away multiply them. 2 multiplied by 3 minus root 13. And then uh, now we will multiply here by 3 minus root 13 and 3 minus root 13 in the numerator as well. So this will give us 3 minus root 13 whole squared, 3 minus root 13 whole squared plus we will multiply by 2 on numerator and denominator both so that we match this one with this one and this one with this one. So 2 to the 4 whole squared minus 2. Now we will solve it. 3 minus root 13 whole squared will be a squared minus 2ab. 2 3 to the 6, 6 root 13 plus b squared, root 13 a squared is 13 plus 4 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 minus root 13 whole squared here minus 2. Now this will be 9 plus 13 plus 4 is 26 minus 6 root 13 divided by 2, 3 minus root 13 whole squared minus 2 now let's take common, I think 2 is common, 2, 13 minus 3 root 13, 2 13 is a 26, plus minus minus, 2 3 is a 6, divided by 2, 3 minus root 13, whole squared minus 2. And let's uh, cancel them out, 2 1 is a 2, 2 1 is a 2. Again here we need to use a bit of a trick, 13 means root 13 times root over 13 minus 3 root 13 divided by 3 minus root over 13 whole squared minus 2. Now we will take root 13 common. So root 13 if we take out uh, we will be left with let's take out a negative of root 13. Okay, we'll take the negative sign also common and root 13 also common. So what will happen, the negative sign will be here, be root 13, then this negative sign will change to positive and we will be left here with 3 divided by 3 minus root 13 whole squared minus 2. 
this will be equal to negative of root 13 now we will rearrange 3 is positive and root 13 is negative divided by 3 minus root 13 so here if you didn't understand how this uh, negative sign we can take common now if we remultiply it inside we will get the same value as it is before here M negative into negative will give us positive here and negative times positive will give us negative here okay so now both these are same will cancel out ones are ones are squared minus two so this will be now we are left with negative root 13 squared minus 2 which is uh, negative squared is positive root 13 squared is 13 minus 2 which is equal to 13 minus 2 is 11 so x squared plus 1 by x squared is equal to 11